Hi, welcome to another video. So, Llama 3.1 has been launched. There's an 8B variant, a 70B variant, and a 405B variant. These new models are showing great results. If you've seen my testing on them, you'll know that the models are performing really well given their size. Especially, the 405B model is on par with Frontier models like GPT-40 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet. The 8B model is also amazing for its size. So, this only raises the question of making a co-pilot with these new models, and that's what I'll be doing today. For the co-pilot, we obviously can't locally host the 405B model. So, we'll need an API, and for that, I'll be using Together AI since they offer a free $25 credit. This way, we'll be able to try it out. And if you think it works great for you, then you can continue using it. Also, I'll only be using it for the chat and shell part of the copilot, since it doesn't make sense to use it for autocomplete. By the way, I'll also tell you how you can configure the 70B model for chat via Grok for free, since Grok has already added that model and allows for rate-limited API usage for free. So, you'll be able to use it for chat if you don't want to pay for the 405B model. Anyway, that's the bigger model. For the smaller 8B model, I'll be using Olama to host it locally and use it as the autocomplete model. This will make it much faster, and there shouldn't be much difference between the models in the autocomplete scenario and the 8B model can be easily hosted locally. So, those are the models. But what will we be using to bring it all together? Well, I'll be telling you how to create a full-on co-pilot with it. I'll also show you how to create a shell co-pilot similar to what GitHub Copilot shell suggestion feature provides. For that, I'll be using Shell GPT like I always do because it's super easy to use and you can integrate it with Light LLM, which can help us get it configured with Together AI and Grok. So that's cool. For the extension, I'll be using ContinueDev, since it works really well, and has built-in integration for local models, as well as Grok and Together AI. So, it should be the go-to choice for everyone, and it's open source, which is also really cool. Now, Let's get started and check it out. First, you'll need to register on Together AI, and then you'll see this screen. Just go to the Settings option, and in the Billing option, you'll see the $25 free credit. In the API key option, you'll see your API key. Just copy it and keep it. We'll need it later. Also, since I'll be showing you how to use things with Grok, Make sure you also get the API key from Grok. Grok is free for rate-limited usage as well. Anyway, just sign up on Grok and get the API key from there. Now, let's get Shell GPT installed. To do that, just run the peep install Shell GPT command. This will install Shell GPT. To make it work with Together, we'll need to get LightLM installed. So, just run the peep install LightLM command. This will install LightLLM on your computer. Once done, run the sgpt command. Enter your Together AI API key. Once you do that, you'll see this error. Don't worry. Just open the sgpt config file. Now, change the LightLLM variable to true. Once done, change the model to Together AI slash MetaLlama slash Llama, 3.1 like this. Once done, save it. Now. Shell GPT should start working. You can use the SGPT command without any operator for just text output, or you can use the shell operator if you want shell suggestions. It's pretty cool. You can look at my shell GPT video for more details on it. Let me also show you how you can set it up with Grok. To do that, just go to the SGPT config file, enter the Grok API key, and change the model to Grok Llama 3. 170B instant. You can also use the 8B variant if you want. 
Once done, save it. Now, Shell GPT should be very fast and working with Llama 3.1. So, that's also cool. Now, let's get the Tinu Dev extension installed. To do that, just go to the Extensions tab and search for Continue Dev. Now, get the Continue Dev extension installed. Once installed, you'll see it in your sidebar. Just click it. In the bottom, you'll see the model drop down. Just click the Add button next to it. Select the Together option over here. Enter your API key and select the Llama 3 option. Currently, the Llama 3.1 option isn't available. But don't worry, just select it. Now, you'll see the Llama 3 model in the drop down. But we don't want to use that. So, just click the Settings option. Now, the config file will open up. Here, change the model name to Llama 3.1 like this. Make sure the model name looks like this. Once done, the chat should start working with the Llama 3.1405B model. It's really cool. Let me also tell you what else you can do with the chat interface. You can obviously chat here, but you can also generate code. Once you generate the code in the chat interface, you can add it to your file via the Insert at Cursor option or the Copy option. You can also generate code directly in your file with the Ctrl and I shortcut. You can also add code base and files to your chat for code references, which is also pretty cool. If you want to use the chat with Grok, you can do that by clicking on the Add button and choosing the Grok option. Enter your API key, select the Llama 3 model, and the Llama 3 model will be added. After that, we'll also need to update the model name to refer to Llama 3.1. To do that, just click the Settings option and enter the Llama 3.1 model like this. Once done, save it. Now, the chat should be super fast with the Grok inference, although you'll only be able to access the 70B model. Anyway, now that the chat part is done, what about the auto-completion? Well, for auto-completion, it wouldn't make sense to use the 405 or 70B model. It's just overkill. So, we'll use the Llama 3.18B model locally for auto-completion. For that, we'll need to get Olama installed. To do that, go to Olama's site, click on the download button, choose your operating system, and get it installed. Once done, go to the models page and choose the Llama 3.1 model. Now, choose the 8B variant and copy the installation command. Paste it in your terminal and it will get installed. Once installed, send a message and check if it works. Now, go to Continue Dev and click the Settings icon. In the Auto Complete portion, change the model to Llama 3.1 like this. Once done, the Auto Complete with Llama 3.1 should start working. It works pretty fine. I think this is the best configuration to use, since if you want to create complex stuff, you can use the 405B model via remote server with the chat interface, while the autocomplete will keep working locally even without the internet. Also, this copilot works really well. So, it's really cool. I think this is one of the best copilots you can use right now. If you guys want, I can also make a mini version of it where I can use the 8B model for chat and an even smaller model for autocomplete. So, let me know if you guys want that. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.